there was a guy by the name of Jerry from West Baltimore. He would find himself doing a 30-year stretch in the Maryland prison systems for premeditated murder. He had a friend that he knew since childhood that we just gonna call him Mark. See, Mark was the type of guy that had a drinking problem and would find himself sometimes in physical altercations at the local bar that Jerry do security detail at. Some of these altercations would lead Jerry into assaulting patrons at this establishment on the behalf of Mark's stupidity. But one day Mark's drinking habits caught up with him on February 19, 2006. A woman and her husband found themselves at this exact bar as fate would have it. Mark, after downing a fifth of vodka, decided that he wanted to grope the woman. You see, the husband went to the bathroom and left his wife at the counter when Mark rolled up on her and began to spit game at her. She said, no thank you, I'm married, but he kept on insisting. She told him that her husband is in the bathroom and that he does not play about her and that you should just walk away. He then leaned in to give her a kiss when a hand grabbed him by his neck and flung him to the ground. It was the husband. The husband was now standing face to face with Jerry. The husband took a swing at Jerry, causing Jerry to step back and engage in a hand-to-hand, fist-to-fist combat fiasco. In the midst of this royal rumble, a broken glass that was a part of a Buzz Light beer ended up in the wife's hand, eventually found its way into the side neck of Jerry's throat, causing massive blood loss and a two-week stint in the hospital. The husband and wife never got charged for this incident, and I'm not surprised. I mean, this is Baltimore, right? Anyway, so Jerry is out the hospital getting nursed back to health by his damn wife, Takesha Jones. She was such a good lady. She knew how to hold a man down and build a man up. Y'all know the type of woman. But wait, where's Mark? Yeah, where have Mark been since Jerry was in the hospital? Basically because of Mark's selfish decision. This is what Jerry's wife is saying. Where's Mark? Why is that you always have to have his back, but when you need him, he's nowhere to be found? Did you know that he did not one time come visit you in the hospital? Did you know that not one time he did not call to check on you? Yeah, baby, I know. I know. Three more days will go by when Jerry finds himself at the grocery store getting some Campbell's chicken noodle soup with the extra vegetables. When he hears a familiar voice that yelled out, Jerry, my guy, where have you been? Well, 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 it's the one and only Mark Mission in action, as usual. Hey, I know I haven't fixed you, but I couldn't see you laid up like that. But guess what? I know where that couple that did this to you at live at. Oh, you do, huh? Jerry exclaimed. Yeah, man. The other day, just by chance, when I was door dashing, I delivered to the apartment. We can go over there right now, and, and we can go over there and get your payback. Word. Yeah, man, the other night when I was door dashing, the wife answered the door and I knew it was her because I could never forget those sexy blue eyes. Sexy, huh? So while I'm halfway dead in the hospital, all you took from that situation was a set of blue eyes on a merry broad? Yo, calm down, man. I said I know where they live and we can go over there and get your payback. Yo, Mark, let me ask you a question. If I had not made it, would, have, would you would have rolled for me? Would you would have rolled for me, huh? I mean, I did take a glass to the neck because of you. Yeah, man, I would have. Then why didn't you do anything? Well, you know, you're my protector, and I can't make no moves without my best bud. Plus, I knew you was going to push through anyway, so why you tripping? Yeah, but at least you could have called my girl to check on me. Look, I know I was wrong. I messed up. I messed up big time. But you here now, so let's just move on. All right, man, whatever. So anyways, where they live at? You know them apartments on Sunset Boulevard? 
Yeah. Well, they stay over there on the third floor. Okay, cool. Matter of fact, her husband worked down there at the steel mill, so we can plan the attack while he getting off of work because you know he going to be tired. Okay, bet. Well, I'm going to go holler at you later, all right? All right, Mark, later. After Mark pays for his groceries, he goes to his car, and he starts talking to himself. Man, why he couldn't just die? I hate him so much. I wish that glass would have hit his juggler. I hate him so damn much. Man, I hate him. And his snooty wife. Man. <sighs> oh, man, why did he have to live? They both can drop dead for all I care. They think they better than everybody. I'm going to kill him one day in this broad. See, y'all, that's the hate and envy that I spoke about earlier. How people can be around you all their life and they secretly hate you. Two days later, on a Thursday evening. Okay, look, this how we gonna do it. The husband get off at work at Friday at 8 p.m. I'm gonna follow him to track his whereabouts. You keep an eye on the wife the whole day, just in case we have to abandon the plan. Given that everything goes smooth, when the husband reach the house, I'ma hit him in the back of the head when he open the door. And we both gonna rush in, tie him and his wife up, and you gonna put two in both of their heads. Wait, 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 hold on, Mark. Why I gotta do it? Because they the ones that sent you to the hospital and it's supposed to be your revenge. Okay, man. On second thoughts, man, I don't think this is a good idea, man. What you mean? I mean, this whole thing, man. Sure, I got stabbed, man, but not, I'm not really even tripping about that now. Plus, you the reason why I got stabbed. So you saying this is my fault? Um, yeah, it really is, bro. Look, I already said I was sorry, but man, if you don't want to do this, we can just leave it alone. It's cool with me. No, no, we got to do something. I just don't want to take their lives. That's all I'm saying. Okay, well, how about this? The same plan, but we just knocked their teeth out. Yo, Mark, you really is sick, homeboy. Why your mind so violent, dog? The truth is, y'all, everything he's saying, he really want to do to him. I always say, watch your circle before they hurt you. And why have enemies when you have friends and family that'll do you dirty? One week later. Come on, man, don't shoot. Don't shoot me, man. Shut up and sit there in the chair. Yo, Jerry, his bra in the shower. Yo, why the f you just say my name? I didn't say your name, man. Yes, you did, bro. Man, what you Destiny Childs, man? Look, you did say my name, cuz. Anyway, I'm going to pull her out the shower. Yo, don't hurt my wife, man. Yo, shut up. I'm the one with the gun. Mark goes into the bathroom while the lady is just putting on her big T-shirt. Come here. Mark then grabs her by the arm and manhandles her to the front room where her husband is now sitting with Jerry pointing a gun to his head. Y'all remember me? Jerry exclaimed. No, no we don't. Who are you? I'm the nigga that y'all put in a coma for the last couple of months. Coma? Yeah, a coma. You stabbed me in the neck with some glass, tried to take your boy out. Well, I'm here for my payback. Time to collect. 